to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anton Rees from Mixed Media, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to not only import different pictures into OBS, but also how to create your very own and unique title page just using images and the text tool within OBS Studio. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's jump into OBS Studio. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is create a new scene. So click on the plus key at the bottom of the scenes window, and then we're going to name our scene. In this case, we're going to name it Title Screen. When you've typed everything you want, press OK to confirm, then go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and click on the plus, go up to image. It will then ask you to put in a name for the image. We're going to type in a background for this one. Always good to name absolutely everything you put into OBS because it makes it easier to find. We're then going to navigate to an image on our computer. I'm going to go for the colored pencils, ones just here. Click on OK and that's confirmed it and pops into OBS Studio. But you can see we've got these chevrons down either side of the image. That basically means that the image is bigger than our canvas size. So the way to rectify that is to go to transform and go down to fit screen. You can also press the control key and F at the same time to do the same job. But now you'll see we've got black images either side. So what's happened there is the image is actually smaller than the canvas size. So to scale it up, just drag it down and then drag it from the corner little red square outwards until it fits the screen. Just keep on nudging things around until you're happy. And then when you're actually happy with the size, you can then start to just drag the whole thing upwards or sideways, however you want until you are happy with the final position of it. So to really find the line, you can also press the arrow keys as well on your computer. What we're going to do is we're going to lock that into position. So I've just gone down there and locked it with a little padlock. OK, and now we're going back down. We're going to add our second image. Our second image we're going to name Anthony. So I'm going to look for an image of myself. So there it is. There is a PNG file. So the background is going to be transparent. So click OK and again just resize that by going to the corner there and then just dragging it until you are happy with the scaling and then again just position that just by dragging it and you can just keep on just fine tuning it until you're happy. OK again we're going to lock that one into position so it can't be moved. OK we're going to now add and this time we're going to go for a text overlay. So we're going to name this text overlay Crafting with Anthony. OK, click on OK. OK, so this is where we actually type in what we want to appear on screen within the text box there. So I'm going to type Crafting with Anthony. OK, and then I'm going to select the font that I want. So I'm just going to scroll down to this one here, Arial Rounded. That's a nice one. OK, and then we can go down and we can change some other things if we should so wish. So we've got, you can choose there, up or lowercase. I'm going to keep that as it is. Scrolling down even further, what have we got here? Okay, we're going to just change the color of the text just to show you can do that. And there we go, it's black. I actually want to revert it back to white so we can actually see it for this instance. So, so you can pick and choose any color under the rainbow. Okay, just scrolling down once again. We've got gradient there, if you should so wish. We're gonna just select a color there just so you can see what's happening. Let's go for, mm -hmm. okay, we've got the black there. And there you go, you can see we've now got a gradient from black to white. Okay, you can change the opacity of that. You can also change the direction of it as well. So you can have quite a lot of fun um, just getting that unique look for your title screen. Scrolling down there, we've got alignment. I always put that to center, just in case you have two lines and everything's gonna be centered in the middle there. And then we have got outline. So I'm going to select the color of my outline. I want black, click on OK, and then just go to the outline size. So I'm just going to 
keep on clicking up there until I'm happy with how that looks. Okay, I think we're okay there. Okay, right, so we also have the opacity of the outline as well. So there's lots of different controls that you can play around with until you're happy with the look. Okay, right, so you've got this on which is basically the background. Okay, so I'm just going to change the background to uh, a vibrant pink and I'm just going to play with the opacity just so you can see what that is doing. So it's putting a background just behind the text. So I'm just going to click OK and I'm just going to move that box down. But the only thing is, you see, I actually want that box extending over the edge of the screen. At the moment, it's not. So the easiest way to do that is just to get rid of the background image. So it's just going to knock the opacity right back down to zero. OK, so we've got rid of it. And then we're just going to scale that exactly as we did before. So go to one of the corner little red squares there and just drag your mouse inwards until you're happy with the size of everything. So I'm just going to keep on going just a little bit more. OK, that's just about it there. Now I'm just going to line that again. You can just nudge it left, right, up and down using the arrow keys. Right, so we're going to go back down and we're going to click on the plus. We're going to go for color source. OK, I'm going to write in here white bar, click on OK and the screen has turned a solid color there which is like a grey. I want white so let's click on that one nice and bright and it's got the size there. I'm just going to leave that as a default. OK and then let's just go back there and we're going to fit to screen again. You can press Ctrl and F that's going to do exactly the same thing. OK so what we're going to do here is actually crop um, this particular white box. So to do that Keep your finger on the Alt key and then you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just dragging the mouse from the center point. OK, so you can do that from the left, the right, the top part or the bottom part of that box and you can basically just crop it. Once you're happy with the cropping, OK, you then need to go back down to the left hand corner. You've got those little arrows pointing up and down. I've selected on the Anthony, crafting with Anthony, and I've now put that to the top of the pile. OK, if that makes sense. So now when I drag that, OK, you will see the text is on top of my white bar. So I'm just going to crop that a little bit more. So just come in, OK, and just using my arrow keys, I'm just going to nudge that down just a little bit. You have far more control using the arrow keys. Next, we're going to go to filters, OK? So we're actually on the white bar. We're going to add a filter in there, which is color correction, OK? Just click OK. And then we're just going to play around with the opacity. So you can just see there, I'm just knocking that down. We'll go to about 50%, OK, which is about there. And then that is it. So again, I'm happy with everything there. I've popped a little padlock on so nothing moves. So that is our title screen already set into OBS there. Um, using lots of different images there to create an overall scene. So if you've liked the contents of this video and you've found it really useful, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. I hope you can join me for another video real soon. Until then, thanks for watching.